finally found Madonna. All right, uh, as I say, I'll be in Brisbane tonight, Club Rumours tonight and tomorrow night, and let's have a look at Madonna, please. Hi, I'm Madonna, and I just wanted to say good day to Daryl and Ozzy. I love those feathers. <laughs> there she is, but she looks at... Have... <laughs> That's the interview. That's it. We well, sent you to America for that. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Oh, great. I forgot oh, wow. to tell you. Michael oh. Jackson restricted me to four questions. She did one. There you go. See you later. Oh. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Okay, the door has to stay shut, please. And thank you. What? So last night when um, I went over and your family, or part of your family, and we were sitting around having that dinner mm -hmm. last night, I couldn't help but think then, and your dad was there as well, what you must have been like at, uh, at meal time way, way back mm -hmm. in Michigan. What were you like? Loud. Mm. Loud and rude and ill-mannered. Like I am now. Did you always chatter on like you, like did you I, do now? Did I always chatter on? Mm. Um, yeah, I sure do. When I, I watched, when you've used them in your film clips, but I, I watched you um, on the last, well, the, the last two you did um, with that kid that was dancing, I forget his yeah, name. Yeah, he was great, Christopher Finch. And I mean, he absolutely adored you, but you also looked after him. I mean, you, you were concerned about mm -hmm. him all the time. Yeah. Well, I suppose since I don't have a family, I don't have children, I sort of... I love to relate to children. I mean, mm. they're so free and innocent and honest and um, uninhibited, and they're great. I mean, he added a whole level of innocence to the show, which I thought was really important. Right. I mean, you come from a big family, mm. um, and you're very close with that family. I mean, mm -hmm. with your brothers and your sisters, even though they may have been mean to you when you were a kid. Oh, I was mean I too. Have, I could understand them being mean sometimes. <laughs> I really could. <laughs> <laughs> but um, would you one day like to have a big family? A big family? Mm. I don't know about that. All right, moving along back to the album, uh, Cherish, when you yeah. talk about love, I think is a, a fantastic love song. Mm -hmm. um, is that one of your favourites? Um, no, it's not, actually. I mean, I like it. I think it's a very catchy, sweet song. Mm. And... I Good almost doctor. didn't put it on the album because I thought thematically it was the black sheep because mm. it was so kind of positive and um, up, you right. know what I mean? Um, without any serious message in it. But then I decided that it was, a good, it was good to have that there because um, otherwise it kind of balanced everything. Mm. It wasn't so sober. Well, then the next song is a song called Dear Jesse, mm -hmm. which I believe was sort of literally a letter you're writing to Patrick Leonard's daughter. Yeah, her name is Jessica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, your love for children, I mean, you obviously adore them. I sure do. Well, well you've certainly come out of, out of that with this album. I mean, this album is, a, a, to me, it's a sensational album. Mm -hmm. um, when you sat down to write this album with Stephen Bray and Patrick Leonard, were you all thinking of a theme? Was it? Theme? I was thinking of a theme. They weren't. I mean, and in, in fact, we wrote a lot of songs that never made it to the album because right. they didn't fit into my theme. I we started writing a few songs, and I decided that I was going to make um, the theme <coughs> of the album much more personal and have uh, everything to do with my relationships, my immediate relationships with my family, mm. with my my husband, with um, my past you know, and present, and, um, and my relationship to the world right now. I just thought that that was kind of the way I was going. And there we had a lot of other great songs, but somehow they didn't fit into the theme of family, yeah. you know, relationships, you know. Also, you seem to have a fascination when you talk about Latin America mm -hmm. towards that form of music. Um, what form of music? Well, Latin. Latin music, yeah. Yeah, I think I was a uh, Latin in another life. I mean, Spanish Eye, mm -hmm. which is a stunning song on the album. Um, that lends towards that. Yeah. And you've had songs before that have got that feeling. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I went to a psychic once who told me I was a, a Spanish boy in another life. It just makes all the sense.
strength in the world too, don't you think? Well, you make a great, you look great as a Spanish dancer. <laughs> I mean, Would that look great as a Spanish boy? No, I don't think so, no. <laughs> um, on that side of, of your life then, are you a dominating person to the people around you? Molly, you know I'm dominating. I'm asking you. And you're telling them. Yes! Um, <laughs> easy, but you're easy to go on with as well at times. Yeah, Most times. If, you, if you pay me lots of nice compliments, I am. All right. <laughs> now, um, hi, this is Madonna. I'm coming up on a current affair. Is the answer. A current affair? No, not the current affair. I don't mm, like that show. Okay. Hi, um, this is Madonna, and coming up on a current affair is... The interview. The interview. The interview. On a current affair? A current affair. Hi, I'm Madonna. <laughs> and coming up on a current affair is the interview. Hi, I'm Madonna. And coming up on a current affair is the interview. Hi, I'm Madonna. And Go on. <laughs> Wait a minute. What am I saying? What's the word? Hi, I'm Madonna. Hi, I'm Madonna. On the Countdown Revolution, and here comes Express Yourself. Come on, girls. Just one more. Now, what did I say? That was I good. fucked it up. No, Hi, I'm Madonna. On the Countdown Revolution, and coming up soon is Express Yourself. Oh, that's right. And here it is, Express Yourself. Oh. Come on, girls. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Madonna. Coming up soon on the Countdown Revolution. Shit. What? Hi, Madonna, and here it is. Express yourself. Come on, girl. Okay. Hi. I'm Madonna, and here it is. Express yourself. Come on, girls. Hi. You're watching Hey Hey Saturday. You're watching what? Hey Hey, it's Saturday. Hey Hey, it's Saturday. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. And? And coming up soon, this one you can is the interview. And coming up soon is the interview. Uh huh. Hi, let me say that again. Hi. Hi. You're, hi. Hi, this is Madonna, and you're watching Hey Hey a Saturday, and coming up soon. Hi, I'm Madonna, and you're watching Hey Hey, it's Saturday. Coming up soon is the interview. Stay tuned. Do one more like that. The interview where I express myself. Okay. Hi, I'm Madonna, and you're watching Hey Hey It's Saturday. Stay tuned for the interview where I express myself. <laughs> you said in one article that you like a certain amount of femininity in a man. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I say what you've been oh. through and how you. I'm how sorry you I said that. I did. I wasn't. <coughs> I mean, yeah, I did make some derogatory remarks about her false breasts. So you're sorry. I mean, it's like. Well, it, it it you know it's never good to do that. Ultimately, that's the one time. Usually, if I say something about somebody, it's a more tongue in cheek than that, and I take it back. I hate to. Gossip, yeah. I hate to fail. I love gossip. Mm -hmm. I love trashing people, but I'll never do it in a magazine again. I swear, as long as I live. Uh, I mean, how long have you known Prince Four, and how did this all happen? This song. I think I've known him for about four and a half years. Always been a fan. I've always been a fan. I think he's incredible, and I also admire his. He's very courageous, and he um, causes lots of controversy too, which is great. And I think he is a brilliant musician. Uh, and we'd gotten together a couple of times, you know, in the hopes of working with each other in, in some way. Either originally we were going to do a musical together mm. and we were going to write the music for it, and that didn't really pan out because I wasn't really a big fan of the script. Because um, um, it, it, it was just too, um, too adolescent, you know. Um, but we did, get, we did write a few songs at that time. 
And then we got to together again because he wanted to do a musical. You know what I mean? We just kept getting together. And he, I, he seemed to fight the idea of just writing songs for a record together because he's done that. Yeah. You raised me this way. I did? Yes, I only do it to win your approval and affection and admiration. Mr. Scanny, um, was she difficult as a child? Difficult? That's putting it mildly. Yeah. <laughs> Very difficult. Was she um, punctual? I mean, yes, she was punctual. Did she ever lie to you? I was saying that she was going to church and maybe... Well, I don't think she lied to me, but so she didn't always give me the lying? full no. truth. <laughs> <laughs> she probably did. Yeah. I probably Most think kids he, do. He's so loyal, he won't say anything bad about me. <laughs> well, finally... <laughs> if I was Pinocchio, my nose would be quiet quiet for a moment. over there. Finally, um, after seeing you the other night, I know you're proud of you. You are proud of her, aren't you? Yes, I am. You must I be proud, proud of all your family. Yes, I am. And I'm proud of you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to do a couple of times. Oh, no, you have one more thing to do. I don't know. Peace. Peace, ma'am. Make love, not war. That's Thanks. all. Dad! Where are you? Are you? So he has to be within the couch area to get it on me. Just simply say, excuse me, and just to say, you know. Excuse me, then sit down and say, Madonna, you can't, you have to stop pretending yeah. that you're a big star. Say what, Dad, say whatever you right, want I'll, to say. I'll give, Don't... You, I'll give you a couple of clues. I'll just give you the cue in, all right? I'll just ask another couple of questions. Yeah, Molly can ask questions, and you say yeah. whatever you want to then say. Just come Don't plan it, because then you're going to be worried, so just say whatever you want no. to say. Uh -huh. You always manage to crack me up when everybody's looking, so. Okay, um, fix your, your microphone, drum in here. My breath? <coughs> okay. Is that all right? <coughs> okay, that's it.